Oh, what the fuck's up, guys? This is Battle Cry, and today we're the fuck. Today we're gonna be playing some Black Ops 3. I am very excited to say that I got my Xbox One in time for the Black Ops 3 beta, and I'm really excited to just have, like, got it. That took me, like, four hours to install it, and I was like, yes, just the whole time waiting. Because I knew. Because I just knew that I was gonna be able to finally play the Black Ops 3 beta uh, after forever of waiting for it. Fuck. So I'm gonna kinda talk about, like, how I feel about the game, my actual feelings now that I've had, like, I have got the experience of playing and... It kinda looks like the love child of Advanced Warfare and, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and in a way it kinda is, I feel like, uh, it's got the exo jumping, but it's not to the point that, uh, Advanced Warfare was, cause I didn't really like Advanced Warfare because I felt like the exo jumping was just too much, it felt more Titanfall to me, and a lot of people say this is just a Titanfall remake, but... Titanfall is a lot closer to Advanced Warfare than this, and I, they just don't have the same feel at all to me, and I'm just really excited to be playing it, and it's really cool in my opinion. Uh, talk to you about the sniping in the game, because people say the quick scoping is very hard, and it is. As, as shown, it really is. I am not the best quickscoper in general. I really enjoy quickscoping just for the feel of it. I like it because of the challenge it brings to Call of Duty. It makes it feel a little more difficult. It, it, is, it doesn't feel like when you run around spraying people, you're actually doing anything good for yourself. Like, skill-wise. As for the quickscoping in this game, eh, as people have said, aim assist is really non-existent for the most part. Uh, I mean, this is quite minimal in this game, so it's going to be extremely difficult to be able to hit shots. I've only hit a couple this game, and usually I would have hit a lot more running up and giving me all the kills I want, and I'm just sucking ass. That would have been so much better if I would actually hit most of those shots. But again, I'm practicing. I just kind of got back into, like, the whole Call of Duty thing less than a month ago. Like, originally I was more of a CSGO, PC Master Race type guy, but I just kind of one day fell back into it. It was uh, more of just an accident, really. I was watching some YouTube, saw some cool trick shots, was like, you know what, I can do stuff like that eventually. So that's just kind of what... But, oh, wow. I notice I like kind of like clench and like open my mouth anytime I go for like a shot. What? Now, as for a lot of the shit people have been talking about the Xbox version of this game compared to the uh, PS4 version, I don't really know what they're talking about. I mean, I've experienced no such lobby issues that other people say they've experienced. Not say, I'm sure people have experienced it, uh, but I've experienced no such lobby issues like that at all. Damn it. So I'm assuming that it just got better since the beginning of the beta when people were really pissed off about it. And I'm really hoping that people will give it a second chance because people have been saying they want to switch over. I feel like people haven't really given this game a chance to flourish like it could, because it comes out in November, so we, they've got like a month or so after the betas completely end to repair the game, so I feel like the Xbox One version will be better after the uh, full version of the game comes out, and I'm really excited for it. I mean, actually, I'm fairly excited for it. 